Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of Scale. Uh, in this one I will be showing you how to perform a Mushra test. Uh, we will use um, as example the test that we created in, uh, in another tutorial um, about uh, creating uh, Mushra tests. So basically we would go to perform, select uh, our test, which in this case was Mushra uh, tutorial and um, just confirm uh, I'm already registered so I just uh, introduced my name my date, month and year of birth okay system uh, found me so I will just start Um, this is the the general uh, window, the starting window of the test. Here appear the instructions that we wrote uh, when creating the test as general instructions. So uh, they just say, please subject, make the following test. Thank you for your participation. We just press continue. And uh, yeah, here appear the different scenarios. Uh, yeah, in this case we made five scenarios with auto order that means that we will start with a scenario one and we will end with scenario five so we would just press uh, in this case next and um, yeah this is how it looks the window of the Mustra test here they are the instructions that we wrote as uh, scenario instructions uh, normally in the Mustra test they are used to compare different uh, samples um that have uh, um, um let's say differences up to uh medium like uh, not samples with a very small difference uh instead but sample with uh medium high differences and the good of this test is that a part of uh, comparing one sample to one uh, reference we can compare at the same time um more than one sample like sorry um, some samples between one to each other at the same time uh, yeah we have uh, in the window we when we created our test we said that we wanted uh, eight questions and in this case that's m this means uh, eight comparative items plus a reference here we have a reference and those are our uh, eight samples from them one is also a reference and the other one is an anchor uh, we don't know where they are because they are uh, ra randomly assigned so yeah we don't know which one is it uh, here we have the the grading scale this is excellent good fair poor bad normally it is because this is made uh, to evaluate the quality of the samples and that's why there are those uh, adjectives in this case we have just a tone we have just tones uh, the reference was the um, it's always the lowest tone uh, then the the anchor is the highest tone in the scenario and was placed in the second uh, sample slot in the vector and then uh, the sample in the third uh, sample slot was the one after the reference uh, fourth sample uh, the, the second after the reference until until the end um yeah uh, about this test now we have to rate the quality so as we are using those uh, tone samples we will say that the sample which is uh, higher it, we will say that this sample had uh, the less quality uh, in order to make a little bit of sense um here to give the our uh, judgment we have a slider as we see when we move it the number here change this is our judgment for this uh, for this item and uh, just to to listen to to hear to them and so we can do it just by pressing on the button uh, that we want to hear actually so for example if i want to hear the reference i just press in reference and the reference um, uh, sounds we have also here a slider which uh, moves uh, according to to the um, to the playback uh, instant of the sample 
we can we have some playback options like we can pause uh, the sample in this case they are very short samples so it doesn't make a lot of sense then we have a resume when it's paused i will try to show you yeah. uh, now it's paused i could resume uh, we can uh, stop the playback and we can uh, select loop so the sample will be uh, played as a loop we can change all also uh yeah so this would be basically a things now i will uh, perform this test so you will see a little bit how how it is um we said five scenarios so i will be doing this process five times uh, i think you you can watch um, how i do this scenario and uh, the other ones it's basically the same so you can also watch them but uh, it's not uh, really necessary maybe it's a little bit boring so but i i would like that uh, you pay attention to this one so you see uh, then the functionality so i will first hear the reference and then i will hear uh, the first sample um, in my opinion uh, this is uh, quite uh, the pitch is quite higher uh, as the tone is quite high as the reference so and we said that uh, as higher is it um, the an we will make an, an analogy the higher is it we will say the the worse is the quality so we will say it's quite poor then we will try now with sample bit I will I d I'm not sure if you can hear uh, good samples I will turn the volume uh, of the speaker a little up okay I think now uh, it's uh, better so I will make again the process with sample B uh, I, fe I feel it's a little bit higher but not too much so place it here in the middle this uh, quite uh, higher this is even more higher also quite high uh, I didn't feel here a big difference actually that's also quite high and that's also quite high so uh, now I have I made uh, my judgments um this uh, differs uh, a lot because what is uh, very bad and what is uh, very good for for this uh, reason uh, it is uh, the subjects need to be trained a little bit to explain them what is one thing and what is uh, another thing and uh, it is also interest uh, interesting the use of the anchor sample which has the the biggest difference because if someone for example says that uh, the anchor sample so the one with less quality for example has a qual it is here in the middle then we know that uh, possibly the range uh, of uh, judgment of this uh, person goes from 100 to 50 if another person uh, goes um, until uh, zero then we know that he probably is using all this range so for this reason it is better to treat uh, sorry to train a little bit the samples so we we know how which kind of uh, judgments uh, are we are we becoming um, what we can do now also with this is compare one sample to another so I feel that uh, B is lower uh, I will uh, just leave it like this now I hear that C is higher so I uh, I just leave it like a, with a less quality and I, I, I can compare A and C I think I feel C is a little bit higher so we will leave it like this now C and D 
everything the same like C is higher than D, uh, lower than D. E, I see that now that E is lower than, than uh, D, so it's better quality. Now I will compare C and E. So E is a little bit uh, lower. Now I can compare A and E. So E is better than A. Now E and F. F is uh, lower than um, E. G is higher. Now you compare it uh, to D. D is better than G. Uh, D was the worst, so G now it's the worst. H is uh, better than G. Now I will compare, for example, E to H. So H is even better than E. Now I can compare also with B. Yeah, so uh, this makes sense. Um, yeah, as I said, the anchor is useful because, for example, I started uh, having everything until here. I could have uh, started here and uh, uh, everything that is here. That I would have the same uh, distribution from here, but uh, with an offset. So, yeah, this is very... Um, um, the judgments uh, depend a lot of the criterion of the subject, but uh, this is quite normal. Um, yeah, so this would be the judgment for scenario one. As I said, uh, you don't need to watch the other scenarios because uh, um, it, it can take a little, a little long. And I think here is far everything explained. I will be doing now a uh, little bit by myself.
So I'm finished with the tutorial, so I will just press finish and uh, information will be saved. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to watch uh, the analyzing of results of uh, measure test. Thank you and bye bye.